looking fresh. Got me feeling like Charles Spurge. Boy, you know we work. Yeah, that, 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 that's for sure. They got my beard hanging low and got me looking like John Calvin. Theologian albums. Man, this the Just to bear fruit with the Bible ones in my waist huh. Hold it down with the saints, saints. All the way in the A Not Atlanta, but Arizona By the way, we proud to play James They like the way we groovin' But this ain't the Hoover game Bearded mafioso oh, yeah. Bro, you know the name you know it. Hot like propane. propane We tend to spit the flame I hope you like the thunderstorm Because we rep with sovereign rain Jesus is the king Blessed be his name. His name. We'll bow before his feet and worship with everlasting praise. Hey, beard looking fresh. Got me feeling like Charles Spurge. Boy, you know we work. Yeah, that, 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 that's for certain. They got my beard hanging low and got me looking like John Calvin. Theologian albums. Man, this the outcome. Man, this the outcome. Yeah. Tell me how dumb these cats really wanna shave. Wow. You best to throw that punk razor blade away. Hey. Hey. Redheading, that's my ninja. Knees, I sold my profile pictures. Picture. Poking on fire, my passion dog right underneath them scriptures. Yeah, Gillette getting pissed off. CEOs got me crisscross. Huh. Let me make this clear, y'all. Hey. I'll never shave my beard off. Yeah. If Christ can use a donkey, huh. then he can use a wombat. Yeah. And if that job say cut it off, I tell them they can have it. Cause this beard gang over everything. Fuck. Bleeding beard, all they do when them speakers bang. Flow fire like Luke Kane. I ain't done huh? till I'm finished, man. <laughs> yeah, I get harassed, but man. the Lord keeps my composure. Yeah. And my beard's like Neftali Felice. Call that thing my closer, wombat. <laughs> Gerson, pastor of GNG, and he is going to describe what the gospel of the beards are. Hey, thank you so much. It is so a joy to be here with yeah. you, and you know how much I love GNG, Amen. and you know how much I love beards too. Yeah. So this all worked out beautifully, yeah. and so I'm so glad to get a chance to talk about that because a lot of people may not know mm -hmm. the beards are a big part of the gospel. Now, on the day when I was about your age, my friend, mm -hmm. I had a beard a yeah. lot bigger than yours, way down yeah. to here. We were talking about that. And exactly. So one of the things for sure you learn about beards is beards are very similar to what the Bible talks about when it talks about the law of God. Right. Now, let me explain. Mm -hmm. Back then and now, I've always been a sloppy eater. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll just be real. You give me anything to eat, and I'm going to slobber, and I'm going to end up um, spilling some. okay? Right. Now that I have this trim little goatee, mm -hmm. guess what? A lot of times what I what I messily eat falls on the floor, right. and if I kick it somewhere, no one knows what no happened. One <laughs> when I had a big beard like this, the minute it hit my beard, everyone in the room knew. And if yeah. I didn't remember, the, the old joke about egg, and you know that yeah, too, yeah, my yeah, friend. Yeah, yeah. And you got egg in your beard right. forever. Egg on your face is one thing, but egg on your beard is something. Mm. Now the point <laughs> is, I'm just as messy an eater as I was right. before. But the beard revealed to everyone how messy an eater I was. Right, right, right. That's what the Bible says the law of God is like. Mm. We were sinners before, mm. but the law of God makes crystal clear that we're sinners. Exactly. So you compare it with what God said we're supposed to be. Exactly. Man, like Paul gives the example. Um, I didn't even know what coveting was, mm. but then the minute I heard you shouldn't covet, I realized, man, it's there, and that's yeah, all I yeah, want to yeah. do is covet. Right, right, that's right. the same thing. The minute you see it's there, it's just like the beard, it reveals. Right. And so that's Pretty the first hard. thing. You have to have that law to point out, you need grace. Mm -hmm. You need Amen. redemption. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Again, yeah, like, perfect sense. Hey, well, while I'm rolling on the beards, too, and remember, again, you're not allowed to trim the edges of the beard, yeah, the beard because is, yeah. God's about total obedience. Amen. And you might say, that doesn't make any sense to me. Yeah. Well, guess what? 
Don't matter. That's exactly the law of God says, God I don't care. It. You just, I just said it. You don't trim the edges of your beard. Yeah. And so, boom, it's, just, it's got to be total obedience. Right. Now, by the way, a footnote, it probably meant, we can't prove this, but it probably meant that that was something the pagans did. Right. So it also said, you can't mix your culture in with the gospel. Exactly. You only worship There's the real God. God. Yeah. But the bottom line, it's got to be perfect. Now, whether you want to use the example of food, egg stuck in your beard, all my other bearded friends out there, or whether you want to use that example you know, of not trimming the edge, even the little things we do wrong, that it's still sin. Exactly. Bottom line, exactly. we're all sinners. And so that means that we need a Messiah. We need exactly. a Savior. Because all of those sins are enough for God, the angry God who's angry at sin to send us to hell because we don't deserve exactly. to be in His, in his holy death. presence. All we deserve is the wrath of His presence yeah. or being thrown away from the, the gracious presence and His wrathful presence. So the bottom line is that's the best news of all. Amen. <laughs> Isaiah 56, my favorite beard verse, uh -oh. where it talks about the Messiah coming Amen. and how God became a man and how Jesus Christ came in this world Amen. and He took the suffering we deserved. And you know what he let people do to him as a sign of, of, of the judgment of God? Basically, God first let all the wickedness of man fall on him, and then his judgment, well, God, that God's judgment fell on him. But exactly. when the wickedness of man was revealed, one of the worst things Isaiah 56 says, that basically the Messiah turned his cheek to those who are plucking out his beard. Again, okay, my bearded friends, okay, you know what I'm talking about there. <laughs> can you imagine? I'm not going to do it because I've got the goatee, uh -huh. but you can imagine. I'm not going to do it, man. I, I, I couldn't do it to my worst enemy. Painful. But that's how hateful yeah. these, these people were when they were mocking. We remember the crown of thorns, but pulling out the beards, another example of what they did. And he did that for us. He did that so that everyone who is really sorry yeah. for the way they have failed the law of God, they haven't lived up to God's holiness, that have egg all over the place, and have, and have not followed the little or the big things, he did that for us. Yeah. And so his, he let his, his beard be plucked out for us, and then he went on that cross and took all the anger right. of God for sin for Thank anyone who believe in him. All right? Amen, That's it. And whether it's coming by music video, whether it's coming by the power of the word, that is the truth. And now, I was thinking a little bit, so what's the, what's the conclusion? How do, we, how do we get a good conclusion of the beard, too? And it just dawned on me, you know what? Well, the ultimate um, redemption is when we come by the Holy Spirit's work to believe in what Christ did on the cross for us, we become new creatures. Amen. And the day is going to come when Christ returns and there's a new heaven and a new earth. Amen. If we're still alive, we get changed at that moment. Yep. If not, we get to get resurrected, resurrected from the dead. From the ground, and yeah. God cares about the body. And you know what? The body includes hair. <laughs> Think about that. God gave a real physical body. Remember yeah, when yeah. Christ was resurrected, they could still feel the holes Still's, in his hands. Yep. And guess what? They didn't choose to pluck yeah, it, yeah, yeah. but they could see the beard now glorified. Yeah. Because beard is wow. part of God's plan for humanity. Man, that's that's why men grow hair on their, on their face, right? And on their chest, wherever it might be. So for as far as we can tell, I've not seen a resurrection body, but for what I can see of Christ, the resurrected Lord was, was recognizable, <laughs> including having a beard. beard. So praise the Lord, we'll see glorified Amen. beards as part of glory. Glorified resurrection bodies Amen. forever and ever. So praise the Lord. The beard tells it all. This is one of the many things, you know, and I'm just going to conclude saying what I also love about you guys and your use of the beards is, again, you know, here at the church, the GNG is a part of CCC. We love three initials. Amen. Christ Community Church. We talk about campus, community, and culture. Amen. And we care about the culture. Yeah. And beards do relate to all kinds of people Definitely. in the culture. It did when I was this kind of late for, uh, end of the Vietnam era. I'm cool because I had a big beard. But it, beards do speak, just like every other thing. And so using whatever it is to connect with our culture in a meaningful way, just like you're doing. So when our friends get a chance to see your video and be blessed by it, just realize it's all about. So the gospel, gospel that brings Christ. us a new resurrected body also calls us to minister this culture as long as we have breath. And then we look forward to that glorified, resurrected, beautiful beard of body for us all. For us men, anyway. You sisters get beautiful women bodies, but praise the Lord. Anyway, but God, well, I, I guess caught myself in a mini heresy. Because yeah. in the resurrection, there's a, there's either giving marriage or giving a marriage will be like the angels. Yeah. But all I know is the Lord Jesus had a beard, so we're going to still hang on to that for us. Amen. But take care now, and God bless you guys. And I can hardly wait to get a chance to explore the video a little bit more, too. Okay? Amen. Thank you, Pastor John.